Head coach Jake Mueller is up front about where Muscatine's biggest needs lie in the O-line. Just one guy returns from a big, strong line from a year ago, but he says the offseason has been a great indicator of just how many guys want to take ownership of those open spots. Well, every year, it's, it's always a challenge, I think, everywhere to, to, to to get short up front on the offensive line and, and defensive line. Um, and so that's that's going to be what's one of the challenges we have this preseason is to to uh, try to get our offensive line working in, uh, to way to the way we feel like we can win games. So we've got some uh, some kids coming back that we know that can make uh, some plays for us. And, uh, you know, anytime you have uh, guys who you, you know have already made plays on Friday nights, uh, that's that's where you start. So we've got a couple guys and, you know, we got two quarterbacks back that, that played significant time. Uh, we've got an all-conference receiver and a running back that, that's done some good things as well. So we've got some things to work around, uh, work with on offense, and it's just a matter of filling in those other spots and, and making sure that, that we, you know, put a group together that can make plays and move the ball and score touchdowns. The, the motivation this offseason was tremendous. Uh, we'd be maxing out in the weight room and somebody would be struggling on a max out and you'd see half the team running over to that rack yelling at them you know motivating them to get it up so motivation all around was tremendous talk about that part where you know so many people from the outside looking in the people in the stands the moms and the cousins or whatever don't know how much investment goes into this too you know how much do you embrace just the, the totality of what getting ready for a football season is yeah the grind in the off season is just unreal I mean people at the stadium on Friday nights don't realize exactly what all we go through. They just see, you know, nice plays on the field, the rough times, good times, but they don't see the blood, sweat, and tears out here on the field and in the weight room during mm -hmm. the off season. So why do you do it? I love it. I mean, the team atmosphere, everybody pushing each other, it's unlike anything else. Yeah, I think we can hold our own up front. We don't really need size, but we do have quickness. Our guys working in the weight room all summer, we're ready. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's something that you guys have always had. Uh, work ethic's never been an issue, too. Right. I mean, talk about uh, some of the great things that happen in the offseason. Well, uh, with our offseason team, uh, team things we do, like uh, Friday mornings, we compete on and just hard-nosed stuff. We never give up. We just keep going. We're weight room to field. We just we never stop never stop working. New district play in Class 4A has dissolved the old MAC conference, so teams like Muscatine will be seeing plenty of new faces this season. And honestly, that could pay dividends come late October into November. At first, I was a little disappointed because, you know, you're always playing for that MAC championship. But I think it's going to be cool to play some new teams, new faces, and I think it's going to be cool playing in new stadiums, too, mm -hmm. with new atmospheres. Could that help come playoff time, having that wave of teams in the background? Yeah, I think it will, because last year when we went to City High, it was a whole new team. It's like, I don't think we'd played them in quite a few years, if at all, so we didn't really know what to expect atmosphere-wise, but it was fun. It's going to be a lot different than years past with uh, different teams. It's exciting going to play new places and new, different people, so I'm excited for that. How much value can there be, especially when the playoffs roll around, that you are gonna, you will have seen so many different looks than maybe uh, than what you, you've already seen those if you're still playing in the MAC, you know? Well, uh, I think it'll be fun. Just uh, new stadiums, new people, new coaches, and uh, just different uh, approaches to the game, game plan with different teams doing different spread offenses and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I'm, I think we're ready for it. I have a real lot of sleep. You know, it's different, uh, no doubt about it. You know, we have to p prepare for uh, some new teams and go to some new places and uh, get. Really, it's more getting familiar with personnel because the, the the schools in the MAC you kind of know everybody's personnel a little bit. Uh, so. The new games that we had this year at the team, we don't really know much about their kids and their players, uh, so that'll be different. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of looking forward week one to going up to uh, Dalsdale Stadium yeah. in Dubuque. I played there in high school, and it's been a while. Uh, I've heard uh, great things about their stadium, so I'm really looking forward to, to making that trip. Hey, Muskie athletes and coaches, FCA is underway at Muscatine High School to get plugged into Fellowship of Christian Athletes. You can contact wrestling coach Wade McLeod or girls basketball coach Susan Orvis, or you can contact me and check out our website at illawafca.org. Lift your legs. Come on, lift your legs. Come on, guys.